uh, in this uh, lecture we will see in detail the development of uh, Schrodinger wave equation. Uh, I have uh, split up this into four parts. That is, what is a wave function? Why we need the wave function? Then properties of wave function. Then finally, uh, the development of uh, Schrodinger wave equation. We will see what is a wave function and why we need a wave function. It is well established that uh, wave behaves like particles and particles behave like a wave. That is dual nature. And we know very well about the de Dirac matter wave. Uh, so if it is a particle, it is associated with mass, size, uh, uh, energy, and momentum. Of course, mass into velocity is momentum. Uh, and wave has uh, these two properties, frequency and wavelength. So uh, we will describe both the particle and uh, wave in the form of a function called wave function. Uh, then uh, we will see what are the uh, properties of wave function and uh, how it is used. The following are the important property of wave function. The wave function must have a solution to Schrodinger wave equation that which we are going to uh, see the development of Schrodinger wave equation. The wave function must be single valued and the wave function must have a finite value that is a square integral. The wave function and its uh, derivative must be continuous everywhere. These are the very important property of uh, wave function. Now we will see the development of wave equation. Uh, so naturally the wave equation must uh, satisfy the 2L nature. Uh, we know very well that the deep practice, uh, developed a hypothesis that uh, particle be, will behave like wave and that the equation is uh, according to him that lambda is equal to h over p. So this is the problem which deals with uh, a particle, uh, sorry, uh, wave nature of the particle. However, Einstein, uh, it, according to him, Einstein postulated uh, this wave uh, will, uh, from photoelectric effect, he identified wave behaves like a particle. And he developed the expression H nu is equal to E or nu is equal to E over H. Uh, so it must be consistent with the energy equation of the particle. That is, energy is equal to, total energy is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy. Here the kinetic energy is uh, P squared over 2M and potential energy is V and it must be uh, linear. For a constant potential, the desired differential equation will have sinusoidal uh, traveling wave of a constant wavelength and frequency. So we will move on further. Uh, we have seen that E is equal to P squared over 2M plus V. Uh, based on the de Bragley and Einstein's postulates, we can rewrite. According to Einstein, we have seen that E is equal to H nu. And uh, this can be written as well. I am taking 1 over 2m out. And according to uh, de Bracley hypothesis, uh, P is equal to H cross uh, over lambda. So I am rewriting P squared as H cross uh, over lambda whole square plus V as you saw. Now what I am going to do is, I am uh, multiplying and dividing by 2 pi in the left hand side. So uh, this one will become uh, h cross, h by 2 pi is h cross and 2 pi omega is, sorry 2 pi nu is omega and similarly you come to right hand side. Uh, here also I am doing same thing. I am uh, multiplying and dividing by 2 pi and rearranging this. This is h cross 2 pi. 
sorry, h over 2 pi. This is h cross. And what about 2 pi pi lambda? It is nothing but maybe I will use different color. This is nothing but uh, sorry, it is nothing but uh, k. So uh, this can be written as uh, h cross k whole square, that is h cross squared uh, k square. Here you have uh, 2m in the denominator. So we can write uh, 2m in the denominator plus v. The left hand side is h cross omega. Uh, yeah, wave function uh, psi, uh, psi of x and t that represents a, a particle of completely undetermined position uh, traveling in the x direction with precisely known momentum p and kinetic energy e would then be expected to have one of the uh, one of the form or their linear combination. See, let us take the uh, wave traveling along x direction so naturally that uh, uh, frequency that is uh, pos uh, position we cannot uh, determine, determine but whereas we can determine the momentum uh, i have discussed in uh, so uh, in my yeah, previous lectures uh, so uh, it can take uh, one of these four form a is sin kx minus omega t or a cos kx minus omega t or a e power i kx minus omega t or a e power minus i kx minus omega t. So uh, these two mostly for pound to state. So uh, these two for pound to state. Pound state. Normally, we will use it for pound state. And generalized equation, we can take any one of these two. Uh, so uh, uh, this is after all. Uh, we can write uh, sine uh, sine uh, sine theta and cos theta in terms of exponentially. So since uh, I have mentioned this uh, positive x direction, I will uh, take this as uh, most uh, general one. This is the most general one, and we will find the solution. Uh, just now we have arrived at this expression based on the uh, de Bragg hypothesis and uh, Einstein postulates. That is, h omega is equal to h cross squared k squared over 2m plus v. Now you multiply with the, the wave function psi on both the right hand side and le left hand side. You take this general expression for wave function a e power i k x minus omega t. What will happen if you differentiate this uh, once first order derivative time derivative? So you will get minus i omega psi. Uh, so now in order to have uh, omega, then uh, you multiply this by i. So if you multiply this by i, both right hand side and left hand side, this is i uh, delta psi over delta t. Minus i into i will become uh, minus i squared, which is equal to 1 plus 1. So right hand side will become omega psi. Uh, similarly, you take the second order facial derivative. So if you take second order facial derivative, at uh, time being, uh, let us take this A is, uh, it is normalized. So, you will get, uh, first time you, uh, you will get one K, I, K, second time uh, another I, K, I, K into I, K, you will get I squared, K squared. I squared is minus one. So, I will get this one. So, if you multiply uh, uh, by my, uh, minus one both side, you will get left hand side minus will come right hand side you will get plus there. now you substitute the, this value here so in the left hand side omega so omega i am replacing by omega psi uh, in this you take this uh, expression that is omega psi omega psi is equal to 
I uh, I had I already there is had cross here. I had cross uh, delta psi over delta t. That is uh, omega psi. I am replacing omega psi by I uh, delta psi over delta t. Then you come to the uh, right hand side. Right hand side uh, you have uh, k squared psi. What is k squared psi? You replace this k squared psi. K squared and psi. What you will get uh, that uh, you have already had cross squared over 2m. Uh, of course, you are when you are re replacing k squared psi, you have to replace by uh, minus uh, uh, delta 2 psi over delta x2. So minus uh, delta 2 uh, uh, psi over delta x2 plus, of course, v psi. This is nothing but our uh, popular Schrodinger wave equation. So we have developed this uh, Schrodinger wave equation uh, based on the uh, T. Brackley hypothesis and uh, Einstein postulates. Uh, thank you very much for watching my video and uh, supporting me continuously. Thank you very much.